So today, we have Spider-Gwen taking on Captain America. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, Gwen Stacy is famously known as Peter Parker's first love and for her death at the hands of the Green Goblin. But on an alternate Earth, it was her who was bitten by the radioactive spider instead of Peter Parker. She has all the same powers as Spider-Man does. She's strong enough to lift at least 10 tons, throw Frank Castle into a car hard enough to damage the car, and punch Rhino through a brick wall. She's durable enough to easily take blasts from electro explosions, and she ignores bullet wounds, which means she must not have the same weakness weaknesses and vulnerabilities to piercing attacks like Spider-Man does. Just like Spider-Man, she's known for her speed and agility. She can easily evade and dodge point-blank machine gun fire. Uh, she, has, she also has a spidey sense that alerts her to danger and does exactly as Peter Parker's does on Earth-616. Her reflexes are, 40 times, are about 40 times faster than that of a normal human. She can crawl on walls and ceilings. She has her own web shooters, and she is a skilled brawler and has even learned some moves from kung fu movies as well. And in the other corner, Captain America. During World War II, Steve Rogers received the Super Soldier Serum. This increased his physical attributes to low superhuman levels. He's known as the next stage in human evolution, being the pinnacle of what any man could be one day. He's strong enough to lift two tons, and has even thrown his shield through tanks before, and even knocked out Rhino with just one kick to the head. He's dormant enough to survive multiple bullets and stab wounds, falls from great heights, and several hits from stronger opponents, and just keep on fighting. He's fast enough to run 60 miles per hour. He can consistently dodge bullets, but not due to his enhanced reflexes, because he sees the bullets coming, and can just move out of the way. He can exert himself physically for several hours before tiring, and he's in the top 5 best fighters in all of Marvel, knowing many martial arts styles and even creating his own fighting style that perfectly executes his shield. Speaking of, his only weapon is his vibranium shield that absorbs momentum of physical attacks and is virtually indestructible. He's a master in using it to ricochet off walls and other surfaces to hit foes from behind or the side. And finally, he's a fantastic strategist, tactician, and acrobat. And so, despite Gwen not having as many feats, she is still proven to be physically superior in every way, especially with strength by a relatively large margin, as she is in the 10-ton range while he's only in the 2-ton range. But Steve is superhuman and has proven that his physicality combined with his skill allows him to fight against foes who outclass him physically. Speaking of, Steve is vastly more skilled of a fighter, like Gwen only brawls and uses some moves from kung fu movies that she has seen, but she has no training, unlike Captain America, who's arguably the best fighter in the world. But it's important to note that Gwen's hits are going to hurt Steve more than vice versa. Cap also has his vibranium shield. She will not be able to get past this as it's virtually indestructible but she could use her web shooters to separate uh, him from it. She can also use these to web him up or to shoot web-like bullets. But Cap has fought against Spider-Man before, so he knows how to fight against this. He also, uh, he, he's also fast enough to dodge uh, any webbing since he can easily dodge bullets. Something we haven't talked about though is Gwen's Spidey Sense. This is going to allow her to dodge a lot of Steve's attacks, especially since she is faster than him as well. Even if he tried to ricochet his shield off a wall or something and try to hit her from behind, she would still be able to dodge it more times than not. But, Cap has beaten Spider-Man more times than Lost, and he's fought against Superior Spider-Man and Agent Venom, all of which have a spidey sense. And although Gwen is more brutal than Peter, the way they fight is similar using their speed, agility, and spider abilities. So who wins? Well, I gotta go with Steve on this one. He can hang with her physically, vastly outclasses her in skill, and has overcome her spider powers before. Captain America wins. Like and subscribe. See ya!